Welcome to another E3 episode. We just got finished episode 20, uh, B, uh, C, whatever. Um, it's the third conference. Uh, Ubisoft just wrapped up and... Saved their bacon at the end. Yeah, they oh started my God. strong. Yeah, they had Jerry Cantrell from Alice in Chains come out and show off the new Rocksmith. 2014 I'm, edition. Yeah, I'm really curious about that. Uh, the thing that he showcased was true band mode or whatever they called it. Basically, the band would be dynamic. You could just go in for a jam session, and they will interact with how you play. I will be very curious to test that out to see what the dynamics are really like and see how far you can stretch them. Not only just like, okay, we're going to play this song and jam, but okay, here, I'm just going to play this. All right, now bring the dynamics down. Now it's key shift, transmutation, stuff like that. Um, and then it got fairly boring. Uh, yeah. They had a few, like most of it was just trailers. Yeah, there was a ton of trailers. I mean, they all look great. You know, uh, the, the new trailer for Watch Dogs was awesome. It's like, yeah. I want the game, but screw it. Give me a movie. I yeah. will watch that movie. Um, they had a, what was the, the driving? The driving game was The Crew. <clears throat> and that actually, I mean, the trailer went on a little long, or the gameplay segment went on a little long. But, yeah. I mean, basically they're just showing that you can drive in all these different parts of America and it's this open world. You can meet up with your friends at any time. Really, really detailed. Fine tune your cars. Meet up as a crew and take over certain sections. So it looked cool. It looked seamless. Again, it just went on. Yeah, a little, long. A little too long. Uh, I think it was like up to four players per crew or, or something. And no, it's more than that. They just had four people in that crew. Oh, okay. I kind of zoned out a little bit. Um, and then they followed that up where they were showing off Rabbids Invasion, which is a TV show hitting Nickelodeon, but it's also an Xbox One, or potentially an Xbox One exclusive that is interactive TV. Kind of think what they're doing with, like, Defiance along yeah, those lines. But for kids yeah. and, and families and, you know, that kind of stuff. So and those of us cool. adults still think cartoons are awesome. And that Nickelodeon still has a chance. No. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag yeah. looked amazing. Yeah, mostly, ga I, I don't know how much CG. of it was gameplay or not, but even then again, what yeah. they nailed there, even if it is a CG cutscene, that kind of action is true to life for Assassin's Creed. Yeah. So uh, it, it looked like, I mean, it was a solid conference. Of course, they had Just Dance 2014, they had Rocksmith 2014, um, they showcased Watch Dogs. Uh, there was the Rabbids Invasion game. Uh, the new Rayman game, Rayman Legends. Oh, yeah. uh, that looks fun. Uh, they're colorful. Gonna, yeah, think. very colorful. Uh, they went into this whole thing about how, well, the artist can create levels and whatever they draw they can put into the level. So that's cool. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the levels are very much rhythm music based almost. So play with your eyes closed if you know how yeah. to. Basically yeah. saying, you know, hey, don't look at the game. But... No, it's a gorgeous game. Look at the game. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, it's vibrant. Uh, it's Rayman, and it's awesome. It looked amazing. Um, they had Aisha Tyler as the host or she hostess, did, she, which she did a pretty good job. Oh, she is. Yeah. If you don't know her, uh, she's a stand-up comedian. She's hilarious. She's also the voice of Lana from Archer, and she is she's she's a beautiful woman, but she is a gigantic woman. They had uh, the uh, the main CEO of uh, of. Yeah. Ubisoft come out and literally with her heels it was like a two foot difference. Yeah. I mean it's like uh, well she said something about LeBron. It'd be like if LeBron James walked in next to me. It's a like, hello. Yeah, she was a kind of Amazonian. Yes. Um, she handled it pretty well. Yeah. Uh, she started off with one mic. It wasn't quite it was making it very very loud. And then after they showed a trailer, they came back with the new. And then she just went with the flow. There was no like she didn't have any hiccups. There was no like during. A couple of the conferences before. Also, new Splinter Cell. Yeah, he's and they're bringing the they're bringing back spies versus mercs. Oh, thank he's God. excited for that. It's one of the best competitive multiplayer. I, I just, it's awesome. Um, but yeah, he's back in the suit, Sam Fisher. There's a whole black list of things, and I guess he's back with the third echelon. Third echelon. Echelon. Yeah. Um, that word. Yeah. Okay, can we talk about it now? Can we, um, talk about, can we talk they about, did, can we talk about they it? They ended the conference the show on stopper. The, the biggest note. I think they possibly did the same thing last year with Watch Dogs, but they've got a new Tom Clancy franchise. It is called The Division, and 
holy crap. And, and they wouldn't tell us what it was called. They're just like, it's going to be an RPG. It's a new thing, blah, blah, blah. And then they start showing the gameplay. All right. Uh, oh, man, the opening trailer that they did. Like, yeah. words can't describe. You need to look up Division E3, what they did, talking about how one banknote with germs on Black Friday can release an epidemic throughout the country. And by day five, we're in law. And just all this crazy... Ubisoft is very good, along with Tom Clancy, that making you feel paranoid. Yeah, uh, they they were throwing out stats about how in in a single day Americans can spend ninety billion dollars. Wow, that was that was insane. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> would you be Justin Timberlake? Since you're the act, like the, anyway. Uh, so it was actually a. I'm far too short. Not pretty enough. It was it was fantastic when it was playing. We were just like, what is this game? What could this possibly be? It looked like potentially Ghost Recon or Rainbow Six, but because they said a legendary franchise. And man, let me say, well, EA this year was all about maximum ball handling. <laughs> Ubisoft is all about maxim, maximum kicking you in the balls. I mean, yeah. you start out, they've got this group, you know, going around. You've got this open world New York. I mean, you can see across the Manhattan Bridge and see Manhattan. You can walk right over there. And they're going through, they're helping out. Uh, you know, they, they're going to a police station to help out some cops under fire, and they're picking up bottles of water for later. They open up an inventory that comes out all pretty-like, and it's skills and different ways to level up and all that. The gunfire. Then they have a dude on a tablet jump in to help them out with a drone to help spot people. Yeah, and actually marking people. Like, not only just not, just like, oh, they're over there. They're actually marking. So that yeah, think like uh, the first home front. Yeah, and that was another game that we kind of thought that, hey, maybe this is Homefront yeah. 2. Because, I mean, New York, looked, I mean, you had the, it was snow covered. You had the piles of trash just stacked up in the streets, the utter decimation. You're getting told, told, told there's civilians over here. Yeah, I mean, it's just, we're all sitting here on the edge of our seats. What could it be? What is they, it? They said RPG, and this does not look like a typical RPG. That's Massive entertainment. That's it. Yeah. We developed it. Which I, I still don't really know too much about them, but... I was surprised. It was an astounding end to what was kind of becoming a, a, a long-winded A lot of trailers. But, um, I mean, of course, we all like Assassin's Creed. You know what? Yeah. Gonna buy it. Blue. Watch Dogs. Gonna it already, buy it. It already wowed us a year ago. It's finally um, it's almost here. Um, Rogue Squadron. Gotcha. <laughs> um, yeah. But, yeah, that's Ubisoft. Yeah. It started off strong. Kind of went a little too long, but ended in such a fantastic fashion. I um, love those guys. They're I amazing. Did, uh, possibly 2014. Everything being, that's being talked about right now for the next-gen platforms has been a 2014 release. And yet, curious, the systems are coming out this year. Mm. Yeah, uh, someone in the offices uh, liked it, pointed that out earlier, that the systems are coming out this holiday, but the majority of the games are coming out next holiday. I think that's also the winning popular vote for a remake of Rogue Squadron. Yeah. 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 So, Ubisoft 2013. Knocked we, it out of the park with the ending, man. We have one conference left. Sony, and that will be tonight about 8 o'clock, so yeah, we'll be is. posting late. Um, hopefully, they have fixed whatever was going on with the PS4 unveiling. Because if that happens again... Tony, they just need to open the screen, and it's like, all right, let's watch the first gameplay, and just buffering. And just be like, ha, gotcha! Sony is getting better at kind of you know, jabbing at themselves, but I don't know if they're going to yeah, do that. I, I, but anyway, Ubisoft, good job. Uh, we will be back later today with Sony. This was episode 20 C. Powered by Double Jump. Yes. Just one more level.com, all your show.com, and all your base. Facebook, Twitter, all that.